Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right. Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And we are here ready for another comedy reaction. We're looking at Armstrong and Miller once again. And we are checking out what? World War Pilots 3. Why? Twa? Why? <laughs> Trey? Why? Three? So we did the first one. We reacted to it. We appreciate the reaction that you guys have. I watched it. We appreciate that. You liked it. You subscribed. You did all the beautiful things. Wanted to react to the second one, but at least here in the States, it's not available to us. I couldn't find it anywhere. Sometimes people will, in the comment section nicely enough will say, oh, here's a link to it. You couldn't find it. It's right here. I click on it, and it's unavailable to us. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's just taken off on all YouTube, but we have number three, and we loved the first one. It was hilarious where they had the World War II stuff, even though it was recreated, and then the modern-day slang that the kids are using, isn't it? Isn't it? But um excited to see this other part right here. Watch, if you don't mind, our first reaction if you haven't seen it yet. And then you can come back and check out this one. Please don't forget, if you like what you see here, too. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded videos. Please, please, please. So many of you have not subscribed yet, but you're watching these videos. Please do us that favor. Don't be stubborn. Be giving. And give us the gift of that subscribe. Here we go. Chaps, we land in Normandy in five minutes. And I wish you all the best of British because, well, I'm sure you all know too well what we can expect on that beach. <laughs> so weird that Curly Wilson let us take his place on this French trip, isn't it? He must be a colossal gay boy. <laughs> For sure, man, he's missing out big time. I love the seaside. Big time. It's all like sandy or pebbly or some shit like that. <laughs> and you can see ladies' nudie legs in their bathing costumes. <laughs> and sometimes they even cut things out. <laughs> No, you see, like, no. the pubes and all this sticking out. Classic. No. Is you going to get chips and shit? Oh, yeah. How's he going to get chips and shit and the Savile oil and all this? Now he's going to put on so much vinegar that my lips turn all blue and I look like my nan did when her neck stopped working. <laughs> Lush. You know if there has donkey rides on the beach, yeah? Yeah. Next like donkey rides all up the beach, yeah? Yeah, all on a donkey and this, that and everything else, or donkey down. <laughs> yeah, if, if they do have donkey rides, right? If they do has donkey rides, I ain't doing no donkey rides, because donkey rides is cruel blood, because they don't like arx the donkey. Yes, They just yes, make them with that. a gun, or a whip, or electric, or a blade, or some shit like that. It's like a kind of slavery. I mean, how would you like it if a fat man sat on your back and made you do stuff? Talking about my granddad. <laughs> what? I knew that was gone. Forget it. <laughs> We're almost there. Aren't you going to black your faces for camouflage? Do I look like a mad racist? <laughs> This isn't the olden times, man. This is nowadays. You need to get some diversity training, big time. Sir, we're here. Right, company, attention! Why is he so strict, then? I don't know, man. He's like really uptight. Some people never relax on holiday, isn't he? <laughs> this is it. This is D-Day. This is where we end this war. Good luck, Sam. Go, 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 go! I don't think our bother. It's really crowded. Yeah, man, it's well rammed. We'll never get a deck chair or a midi, and the bogs are going to be rank. <laughs> Why so many people, Dad? I don't know. Must be half term. <laughs> All right, Dad. Welcome, Chris, man. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, welcome. Always a pleasure to serve our brave lads in uniform. It is a good uniform, isn't it? Shows off all my pecs and shit. <laughs> You've got good pecs. You was built. He is hench. I as well, Buff, like that guy who's Tarzan, except not really Tarzan, because he's an actor. I love that guy. He rocks my world, 24-7. <laughs> well, you know, I have such admiration for you blokes. Cheers, Big Ears. I heard on the wireless this morning, in fact, <laughs> that even now, some of your colleagues are out risking their lives over the South Downs, keeping the people of this country safe from the Nazi jackboot. That's right, man. For oh, sure, there is. But we pretended to be ill so we can bunk off over the common for a smoke and a picnic. <laughs> yeah, so the thing is, yeah, we just wanted to buy stuff all like for a picnic, like cheese and ham and bread and shit, for a picnic. I see. Well, if you give me your ration books, I can see what you're allowed. Yeah, so, right, we want uh, 10 ounces, uh, 12 ounces of cheese or some shit like that, and a pound and a half of sort of ham or whatever, and two breads, yeah. and a big thing of butter and that and everything else, and a pork pie with all like an egg in it and everything like that, and uh, some pickled onions, <laughs> and loads of crisps and lemonade tar. 
<laughs> well, sorry, but you're only entitled to an ounce of cheese between you, and no ham, you've used all your tokens, and no butter either, I'm afraid. Yeah, but we want it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we want it, yeah. see, it's what we want. Yeah. But you're not entitled. We want it. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, though, we want it. I don't think he understands, I think he might have a disease. I can let you have what your ration books entitle you to. Yeah, no, the thing is, though, Grosser Man, we want more than what you said we as allowed. Grosser not giving us what we want is actually against our rights. <laughs> it might make us experience <laughs> issues around not having enough ham. Yeah, it's one good reason yeah. why we can't have loads of cheddar and a pork pie with all like an egg in it and shit. Well, because if you have more than your share, another person will have to have less than their share. And maybe even go without life's necessities entirely. If, if one person is selfish, then someone else has to suffer, do you see? Yes, 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 Missy. No. Yeah, yeah. We won't we go no, no, no. We'll just <laughs> We'll just have a quarter of Ogden St. Bruno. Right, certainly. Yes, it's a good feeling to know that we're all in it together. Yeah. 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 Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it though? Sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got all that sand? I, I, I want it. This that <laughs> yeah, man, it's mega scratchy on all my region and business. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's harsh. You know something, blood? What is it? Me military brethren? <laughs> I reckon that Welsh guy was really cross with us. You mean Japanese guy? <laughs> whatever. But yeah, but anyway, that Japanese guy was well vexed up with us when we said we wouldn't build his bridge or whatever it is. Because <laughs> he did all shouting, and then he buried us like a potato or that other vegetable you get. Super noodles? Yeah. <laughs> He needs to get over himself, man. We can't build no bridge or escalator or whatever it is because it's against health and safety. You know what I mean? That building site's contravening so many kinds of legislation and shit, and I'm not even lying. <laughs> yeah, man, Bamboo Stepnuts are retarded. You know what? I was going to go up council, yeah? The Burma Borough Council. And I'm going to see whoever the guy is there, the safety Burma. bitch. And then the Japanese army is going to get, like, a really substantial fine. Like, really substantial. Like it, nice one, sorted, nang, cool, bless, grimy. So you know dinner time, yeah? The time you have all your dinner or tea or some shit like that? Dinner time, right? You know that, yeah, that time, time for your dinner, dinner time. Yeah. So when it's like dinner time, right, how's that going to work? Is some geezer going to feed us with a spoon like they have to with your nan in the home and all this? I don't think we're getting no dinner, bud. Seriously, though, what happens at dinner time? No, man, we don't get no dinner. They leave us out here in the scorching sun to starve and burn and dehydrate. That is massively unfair. Massively. <laughs> so should we say we're going to build their bridge then? No way. We're just going to take the burning sun, man, because our cause is just. Well said, me fam. And also, <laughs> yeah, we're going to save so much money at the tanning salon, isn't it? Isn't it, though? <laughs> isn't it? Orangey. <laughs> <laughs> Orangey. Oh, oh I, I don't want it to end so quick. Seriously. Oh, and I got something in my eye. It was driving me crazy, but that was cute. That was super cute. I just love how quick they are with their isn't it and mm -hmm. this and all that and whatever man. <laughs> and I love the I love the store one. That store one is classic. It is but so I want true it. in what we see every day. It's against my human rights not to get what I want. Yes, yes. I'm like, gonna have issues because of this afterwards. Oh my god. I think it's like, but you're not entitled to it because everybody feels like they're entitled to everything. And I love how you use the word entitled, but you're not yeah. entitled to it. And he's like, I'll explain how something's gonna have to go without and then he turns his back and they got it all. And <laughs> And <laughs> sharing. <laughs> yeah, but I want it <laughs> with the egg and all that stuff in the middle of it. <laughs> it is so true, though. People want and they don't care about anybody else. Even when they have the ration cards, they handle, they know what they use and what they have yes. used, and they're still shocked. Yes. I'm not going to get what I want. What are you I talking about? I want it. We, we fake being sick so we can have a day off in the sun. Picnic. <laughs> and I want. How much cheese did he want? Like, they wanted... 12 ounces. 12 ounces. He's like, you've got, like, one ounce to share between the two of you. But I want it. 12 ounces. Who needs 12 ounces of cheese? <laughs> this is totally unfair when I'll dig into the ground. But we're going to save so much to the Italian salon. Orangey. <laughs> it's just going to be their faces. Just their faces. These guys are awesome. Oh, so good. You guys watching this, we appreciate you watching it. 
please do us a favor and let us know what are some other Armstrong and Miller bits that we should check out and other ones from different people that you think are just as funny. Don't have to be the same exact thing, obviously, their own thing. Let us know what we're missing out on. Request that below. It really helps us out, helps us to learn more about stuff, and it helps our channel too. We're not going to lie about that. But uh, let us know what you think about this. This was absolutely hilarious. I loved it. The first one was still a classic. This one was really, really good. And with all that being said, until next time. Goodbye.